G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, where we're back in Darkness Falls, coming out of the most recent Blood Moon Horde at Day 56, we're into Day 57, and there is lots of work to do if I have a chance of surviving... Well, the next two hordes, I usually go to day 70 on these kind of series. I wasn't really intending on stopping at 70 for Darkness Falls, but I feel like we're starting to encroach on like the end game kind of stuff. I feel like we're starting to get to the interesting parts where everything is about to kick off. So I do have some repairs I need to do to my base before anything else really. The back wall over there has taken an utter pounding after me sitting in here all night long, just banging away. Anyone who came to my doorstep got banged and the wall behind it got spattered so much so that it's now mostly broken. So I need to go out there and upgrade those. Maybe even turn it to steel, given I do have like thousands of spare steel now. Probably wouldn't be a bad shout if I go and shake the source or that a little bit. But repairs have to be done to the base. I need to clean up all my stuff. Take all the loot home as well. Because I'm currently chock a bloody block with all of the loot stuff. Oh, there's lots to do today. For the moment, I'm just going to put the uh, the muscle car down just like that. Because it does have all the storage in the world that I need. Just like stuff you full of everything. I wasn't quite, oh, that's actually worked out pretty well, actually. No, not that one, you pelican. That one there instead. So what have we got? We was put you over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Rest of that is all loot stuff to be taken home. And the rest of the stuff is up in the box upstairs. So that's not too much of a problem. I do have these, like, these extras. These extra bloody um, rifles down here. I can't remember what my normal loadout for my, uh, my call stuff was going to be. I might even... I'll keep these ones as they were because I know that they're still modded out properly. I'll leave these ones back at home, swap these mods back into this one, and go home and make a new one to upgrade you back to fully fit and functional, uh, and leave the rest of this stuff back here. It's just kind of like making sure that if I do a little bit of legwork now, a little bit of thinking ahead, which is for me is rather difficult, as we all know, uh, then down the track, it should make my life just that little itty bitty bit better and come the next horde. So... I'll take all of you guys, purple dye as well. Those are all the random mods got left over. I'll just take everything that needs to go home with me. Because this is like, this should just be, this box should just be ammo and guns and food. So if I come up to Horde Knight, walk up, tap R, take the stuff I need, and then get rid of the fight. That's all I should have to do with this box. Not faff about trying to figure out what exactly I need in here. I think from memory, I don't think I had the armor shredder mod on you. I had the silencer instead. There we go. That looks like it's mostly what my normal loadout was. Um, sprods are already in there. That's fine. Retracting stock can go in the M4, I suppose. Yeah, I might put you in there or something. The M4's got the armor shredder model, which is a good time. Rad remover, like, like, ideally, I suppose I'd have the blessed metal, the rad remover, and the armor shredder all in the same gun. But, because this is Darkness Falls, I haven't combined the full auto mod and the sprods uh, mods yet. So, that takes up two spots. The four group is needed to keep it under control when I am hosing for my life. So... I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So we'll go like this, complete you. We'll put the rest of this stuff into wherever else it will fit and we'll take everything back home with this. Um, you. You can just hold on to these. There you go. Have all of that. I'll come back for you another day. Because at least then, let's talk about how I wanted to have a duplicate of that gun so that if I just need to switch over, I didn't have to like stuff about with the mods. If I just pull a silencer on that one, that's going to be good enough. That and I'll get an advanced magazine extender rather than just the, the normal rubbish one. Well, I suppose it's like a backup, it's actually not that bad. I only really needed it for like half an hour last night, so probably something to keep in mind for later on down the track. Let's go put those guns back away, get the rest of the loot. Uh, I should probably actually do... You guys go in here, please, for a rainy day. Those guys as well. Uh, nice. I should probably actually go through with you lot and just do, like, my upgrades and stuff now while I'm here. Rather than to come back for it later, if I do it now and, you know, put it to bed, then I've got less to worry about. I've got a thousand steel on me. So first things first, I've got to make sure I've upgraded all of these to be back and spiffing and shining like the freshest of fridges all the way around. Although it is stainless steel, so there's probably a whole lot of fingerprints on this, which will never actually got to come off properly. You never get rid of fingerprints entirely. There's always little thumbprints left over all over the place. Whenever you do have something stainless steel, upgrade you, upgrade you. I'm not really concerned about the steps down here being all out to stainless steel. Regular steel should be enough. That one there too, and you. That one, that one, and we're good. Nice. Okay, with those ones sorted. I mean, like, little scripts and scrapes and stuff aren't really a massive deal, I don't think. For the most part, I think it's pretty right to go. Not a lot of damage last night. Oh, that one's had a little bit of kicking, though. That's all right. 
So what I want to do is just kind of build out to there, if I at all can, please. Go like that, and let's attach you onto there. There we go. Nice. So all of these ones, because I absolutely messed it up, I think these ones need to be steel as well. If there's going to be that many rounds coming through that's done that much damage, they definitely need to have some bulletproofing. I'm just going to go from, like, the third rung. I Nope, that one there. The third rung, I think, all the way along like that. And you may be asking why I even bother upgrading these to steel. It's a little waste of resources. No, oh, damn it. All right, well, now it's unsymmetrical. So you guys and... You guys as well. Uh, I want to make sure this wall stays up and stays strong because you may remember the only reason I built that bloody wall was because cops were showing up in the distance and taking pings at me from range. But this here means that I'm protected. The only way that anyone can ever see me is by making it up to the front of the hatch here, which means that I have a chance to defend myself. And that is all important when it comes to Horde Knights. You guys are fine. Everything in here is pretty hunky-dory. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. All right, sick bloody tits. Let's put this stuff away and head back to our base. You guys go back in. That's all of that. You are trying to block with bloody everything. Take as much of that as we can. Some stuff let's le gets left behind. I'll see. Actually, can I go like this? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Just like leave some of the extras around into that box. Grab whatever else I can in here. Should be able to make the room by stashing the rest of it and like, filling up stacks in the, uh, in the muscle car. I heard a wolf somewhere. Not that that's a massive deal. I'm not really concerned about wolves these days, but always good to keep an eye on your surroundings. I don't want to get surprised by having a snoot in my boot. There you are. I knew you were down here somewhere. Just put that through you. I forgot that I do have like the hunter perks. So I can just crouch and see all the animals around me. Uh, I have everything in me now. This box is now empty. I should probably leave. I'll leave the spikes, the doors... And the steel garage doors as well. I still need to do the last of the upgrades to the... You guys can stay here as well. So to do the last of the upgrades to the horde base itself. Like the next the next level of it. I haven't had to fall back just yet. I don't really want to at any point. But... Oh, that's like some little purple die waiting for me. But I do want to get that sorted out relatively soon before the next horde at least. It's kind of the only construction project left that I do actually have. A tier 60 steel pickaxe. That's a bloody good time. Pity my titanium one kicks the absolute dick out of it. Everything else here is good. All right, let's get home. Let's get my inventory stuff sorted. What else do I need to do today? It's day 57. 58 is the next trade potato day, I'm pretty sure. I did want to go back to the wasteland and go looking for uranium. That is kind of on my list of things to do. And now that I do have that motorcycle, actually, instead of going like the big stupid long way all the way around, that takes a whole day to drive. If you look, here's the town I live in. And that's a town there with a derpa down there as well. So like... I could probably bush bash that way. I don't know what's in the middle of it, but, you know, whatever comes up, we could probably work our way around, figure it out as we get there. But I could probably bush bash that way with the motorcycle and get there far quicker than I have ever before. I may as well start using... Oh, actually, you know what would be cool? I was going to say I may as well start using the new chest here, but what I kind of want to do... Let's get rid of you. I think I should have somewhere... I've got some free space. Nothing else to do. Bash, we get out of there. You can get scrapped down to iron, please. I have no use for any sorts of arrows or bolts at all. Not that one. Not that one. What did I do with it? What did I do with them? I could have sworn I had some leftover boxes from last time. Tools, maybe? Yes, there we go. Grab you. Grab the paintbrush as well. And some paint. Because if I can just smack a box up above that door there and use that as like the dump chest... Where's my paint? There's my paint. Nice. So when I come home, I don't really have any worries at all. I can just walk up to this one from the outside of this room. Just like smack bang it into this one. Let's go actually... Let's go the same rotation as these. Copy rotation and stick you like that. Just because I hate the normal orientation of it all. So you go like that. You go like that. And on the other side... No, paint you like this one. There we go. You'd never know. Although, I do kind of want to know there is a box there after all. Maybe I should go like... Cupboards? Mm, old cabinet sides. Maybe just like the storage crate. I mean, it kind of ruins the aesthetic, doesn't it? Nah, never mind. Never mind. I'll just have to know what's there, Josh. I'm sure you can figure out the block above the door is a box, so put something in it. Look, boom. Just like that. Easy bloody peasy. Now, it's a much shorter trip downstairs to get the rest of the gubs. Saving so much time now. I haven't even really started to sort out all of the gubs that I have that need to be sold. Everything go in there, please. I'm wearing 60 gauntlets. That's fine. You guys can go in. I am keeping an eye out to upgrade my armor if I do get the chance. 55. I'm wearing 58. Well, I could use you, actually. 
I'll hold on to you for the moment. In fact, and you could probably use those to just like repair the gubs that I'm currently wearing. Might even take you with me as well. You guys can all go into there. Shetty. Nah, 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 nah. Nice. Okay. You can get scrapped. You modify. Take the purple out of you. Thank you very much. Always excited to find some purple somewhere. What's missing it? So my normal loadout, the only thing missing it is the shotgun, despite it not actually doing anything, because <laughs> I've actually died at all. But, you know, got to keep up appearances. Got to make sure we are dying things as purple as possible. In you go. I don't know. Maybe it's going to make it look awesome. Does it? Nope. Still looks the same. That's okay. That's fine. I still do have most of my gubs upstairs. I haven't sorted out my inventory yet. Everything up here is still up here. Uh, drinks go into that one. Have that, please. Everything else go into their respective places. You, you can get stacked back into that one. I hate how it splits the boxes sometimes and go into there. This has no use for anything. So what are you actually holding on to right now? Just some stuff. That's fine. Hold on to that. Dies into that one. I'm pretty sure I have another... Yeah, I do. Another military. Look at that. They basically match. That's fine. Let's go downstairs and just make sure I can repair whatever I can. Because my armor's probably looking a little bit worse for wear these days. Yeah, not particularly great. Probably got some steel leg armor around as well. No, nope, no steel leg armor. All right, that's okay. That's fine. Let's drop back down to here and go to you real fast. Now, I don't want to bin this, Josh. Please do not bin it. I could take all the mods out of it, I suppose, before I go. But I'm pretty sure... It still has the... You know what? It's just not worth the risk. It's just not worth the bloody risk, Josh. Go like this. Modify. Take all of you out of there. Do the same for this one. May as well just make doubly sure I'm not going to lose anything before I get really mad at myself. In like that. In like that. That's most of it. Keep you there. There we go. Full 58 hotness. You do the same. 51st. That goes up to maximum already. Don't even worry about the 52. That could be sold for lots of dollary dues. Nice. Okay. You guys take all of... No. Nope, that one. There we go. And you take all of these ones. Bang, 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 bang. You need to go in last, don't you? There you go. And then... Come on. Where? Where? I've got the time. I've got the radiation protection. Nice. We're cooking. It is a little bit too late in the day to go to the wasteland, I think. Even if I do try and bang about this way, like try and take the shortcut like that, it's still not going to work out well for me because then I have to spend the night in the wasteland, which, I don't know about you, seems like a pretty freaking awful idea. So I might even just wait until... I might leave at like... I don't know, 2 a.m. tomorrow night, uh, or the like, next morning, uh, to get down there at a reasonable hour. So maybe I'll spend today, I'll go back and hand in the quest, because I've got this on me right now, and it's really bloody annoying. I definitely don't need lockpicks anymore. Do I? What about, oh, what about treasure, though? I'm pretty sure I updated it so that, uh, like, the crowbars and stuff work well on treasure boxes again. Well, if I'm going treasure hunting, may as well take them with me. I'll just... Look at me change my mind every four seconds like a true woodle. Nice. Um, I'm a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty, actually. Damn it, everything's back upstairs again. I can't wait to have everything out of the attic. At the moment, everything's kind of scattered everywhere. I'm kind of like in like the intermediary period between like when you've moved house and when you're like getting all your shit in, unpacking all the boxes. I know things are here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. Close the door behind me. There we go. Even though I am... Oh, I've left the bloody generator on. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. I've got plenty of gas. Plenty of bloody gas. Even though I am going to Trader Potato today, I don't actually want to go and sell all the stuff. It's not Trader Day today anyway. No, it's not. 58 is definitely the right day. Thank you, Calendar, in the background. You can go into there. So I'm going to quickly go see him and just hand in the quest and then just go do some treasures, I think. I could probably try and squeeze out the last of the construction on the Horde base. It's probably not actually such a bad idea. We'll see. We'll see how we go. I don't want to get distracted by something and then lose a bunch of my time and then end up like I normally do, crossing over midnight tonight, still faffing about and trying to get some stuff done. I'd much rather get to the end of today at like, you know, about midnight and have everything done so I can like finish up this episode and get ready to head out tomorrow morning. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. I don't want to lose any time in the morning just like screwing about at home for no bloody reason. Pull up out the front. Just about there will do. Nothing in you. That's fine. Cheeky double tap. All right, you guys are getting more accurate. Love your work, lads. I like it when you both keep the volume down and don't just spray ammo all over the place. Right, you. What are you going to give me? Helmet light mod? That's going to be worth the most amount of dollar do. So I'll take you and... Wow, nothing else in here is valuable at all. I'll take the leg armor, I suppose, and immediately sell it all back to you. Messy inventory. Sell that, sell Don't that. Don't let the door hit you on your way Do you out. have any jobs? All tier threes? Oh, tier one buried supplies. That'll be a quick way to get some shit done. Only 300 meters to the north as well. 
I had to kind of go that way anyway to get like to the line of treasures up here. So that's fine. Guess we're going tunneling today. Oh, another sneaky double tap. Look at these lads getting their sights on. Turns out last time I came here and berated them for their lack of any sensibility in using the notches that are built into the top of their guns. Turns out they took that uh, cr con constructive criticism. It wasn't very constructive at the time. Took that constructive criticism in their stride and learned how to use the weapons. Well, fair play, lads. You know what? I'll ridicule you when you shit and I'll congratulate you when you do something half day. So congratulations, all of you. There it is just there. Pull up like this. It's the motorcycle is so much better, especially for off-road stuff. I am banging about, absolutely flying. Bang that on me noggin. Use me sweet titanium shovel to get in here immediately. All right, easy as that then. I am going to have to get in a bit of a fight after this, I think. Oh, I've got a survivor over there to give us a helping hand. Got the loot and gogs on. What have you got for me? Scrap you. I will take all of you, but I'll wear those ones first. Pop out of that one. I forgot to I forgot to repair my bloody coal sniper as well. All right, that's fine. Titanium bat. Ooh, there's a derp up there as well. Titanium bat will get me through. Titanium bat will always get me through. Oh look, it's chlamydia meets chlamydia. Mind blowing, I know. Oh, there's another derpo. God, it's the fucking field of derpos out here. It's gonna go up and grab this one first. The best thing about having the motorcycle, any two wheel thing, is you can tap seats. Oh wow, it's a lot further. I thought it was just at the top of this ridge. It's a little further away than I anticipated. That's okay. That's all right. Motorcycle will get me there. Because I can just tap C and just pull up the front wheel, I can climb inclines way easier. But, ow, cactus plus. You just stay there, please. No. Stay there. There we go. Okay, nice. I may as well just get on my own two feeties and traipse up this hill a little bit easier than using dinosaur power. G'day, bud. Ooh. Thank you, bud. I will scrap you and take that. Thank you very much. Enjoy your bloody slippy slide. Super fun happy slide. All the way down into Mr. Burns' lair. Give me this. Give me this. What have you got? Give me something good. Shotgun aura turrets commanding. I'll scrap you. Hammer, duct tape, some stuff. All right. That's fine. That's all right. No wackers knackers. I'll go off and get the other one. Always happy finding sneaky derpos out here. We'll probably get rid of that one, actually, because it's kind of marking both of them. Yeah, nah, we're fine. Just grab this one on the way through as well. What have you got for me? Sledgy boy, calipers. Uh, I did actually buy my own set of calipers the other day. That's kind of fun. Um, right, all of that. Thank you. I didn't go t like hand in that um that quest to try to potato. My whole point of going there was to get rid of carrying around some supplies. I've immediately stuck up on supplies all over again. Right, out this way. Let's go to the next treasure. If I can just get all of these done in one day, that's going to be a successful little uh, successful little day of treasure hunting, I think. There's another derpo over there as well. Have I got that one marked? I do not. It's probably that one. Oh, I just got rid of one somewhere. I don't know where that was. All right, never mind then. Whatever. Too late now. Can't go back and remark it. Might as well swing up the hill and grab that one too. So there's just like... In this little band out here, it must be something to do with the generation. Like, so the RNG, I know that it does kind of like put it in a circle around your current position, but it must apply that to derpos the same way that it applies to treasure chests as well, because they all seem to be in about the same area. What have you got? Steel pickaxe, some cornmeal, a nail gun, thank you. Where is it? Just down here? Come on. There's got to be something good in this one. We're getting to the point now in the game where there's no point in looting something unless it's going to give me something really worth bloody while. I don't know. I just don't know how it's going to go. Stripper Titty's going to come over and see me. That's fine. Put you down. Put down your boyfriend as well. He was all broke anyway. That's why you were walking away from him. You'd emptied his wallet. He'd emptied his soul. Well, he'd emptied something else into you as well, I'm sure. All right. No one else around. Let's get digging. This bloody circle just keeps on moving. Like, look how far across I've gone now. I started that all the way down here, and it's all the way up on this hill now. Keep them just, like, squirreling away from me. If you would like to actually show me where you are at some point today, that would be flipping fantastic. All right, it's homing in on here. It should be here somewhere. Please, I've already wasted so much time here. What's the time even? Tough pass. Ah, there you are. There you are. Right, let's test out. I do have the lock picks just in case. Let's get all the way over to it like this. Let's get the old titanium pickaxe and see how you go. Still only 500 a pop, but probably still faster to do it this way than to go with the pickaxe. Uh, not the pickaxe, it's the lock pick, so that works for me. All the way in, please. What are you going to give me? Please make it worth my time. Loot and gogs are on. It was not worth my time. I take it back. It was not worth my time at all. What is... What is this thing? I mean, I was just over there on the other side of that ridge over there digging up my treasure. You can probably still see the divot in the ground that I carved out of the mountain over there. Is this a POI? 
Okay, hang on. I have to quickly murder these guys. So I don't understand what I've just stumbled across. If it's a POY, it's like I haven't seen before. It's just a freaking hole in the ground. Is it like a... Is it like a bunker or what is it? Okay, you need to die as well. There's another one there. What is going on? Okay, I need to find a way down into this place. My mission to go treasure hunting has now been completely superseded. So I just got to mark it on the map as well. Okay. Ooh, my curiosity is peaked. If I was a cat, I'd definitely be dead by now. Sneaky engine. That's fine. There's a snake over there somewhere. That's right. All you guys, please just go into that for me. Cheers, big ears. Where was that snake, actually? I know you're coming for me somewhere. There you are. There you are. With the power of insight. With the power of freaking eagle vision like I'm a freaking assassin. Put you down. Do I just, like, drop into this place or should I build down into it? What have I found? What is this place? This is completely new. I have no idea what I'm going into. Down to there. Down to... Just go like that. Sure, whatever. There's caves? You are shitting me. There's caves in this again? Not only are there caves, there's like a full of like catacomb. Oh, wow. Oh, this is getting me all sorts of excited. This is sick. How have I gone this long and never known about this? There's iron, there's oil shale. Imagine finding something like this in the wasteland or something. Oh, this is so cool. Lead as well. I love this. There are mushrooms for days, which is kind of good. So I'll take you. No, nope, take the mushrooms. There we go. Grow a bunch of those because why bloody not? Screws no tiny little gap, can I? No, I want to I know what's in here. I want to know, is there like a, a treasure or something down here? Or is it just like... Oh, there's more. It goes down deeper. I just want to know where this goes. I want to know what it means. There's so many like, cool columns and shit. I'm too... I'm tempted to go digging and seeing what I can find down here, but... Because I'm in in the desert and everything is made out of sand, if I take down any of these pillars, I feel like the whole world is going to collapse. And I feel like once the cave starts to collapse, it's not going to stop any bloody time soon. Can I go through here? Oh, yes, I can. Just like, oh, be brave. Drop down. I shouldn't be too cavalier about this. Like, spelunking is great and all until you get lost to get, like, just trapped down in the mine somewhere. What the hell is this place? Oh, there's something down here. There's a treasure chest. There is definitely something down here. I need to murder whoever's beating on shit because I don't want this place to get collapsed around me. What is going on? What have I stumbled upon? What is this place and what does it mean? I'm gonna destroy the body bags because now I'm paranoid about it after the bunker the other day. So just like get down, rid of all of you. I don't know where this clown is who's beating on shit. I'll find it at some point and I'll murder you, I promise. Where was that chest, actually? I'm not leaving this place. I'm not leaving this place until I know exactly what is going on. Buried food stash. Scrap you, take that. So where am I even? So I'm just like, I'll just keep on going down. But how much further down is it going to go? And it's so hard to know if I'm missing anything or not. Because how am I supposed to find... There's no, like, rhyme or reason to this place. It's all just kind of gobbledygook everywhere. Where... Where the hell is everything? And where am I supposed to go next? I think I'm reasonably close to the bottom. I can't even... Oh, he's up there somewhere. Jeez, please don't collapse the mine me at the bottom of it. I'm just kind of cruising about. I think I'm pretty close to the bottom. Get rid of you. Because there's not really a bunch more cavities for me to slide down into. Bunch of oil shale and stuff. There's enough oil shale down here to last for a millennium. Oh no, here we go. Oh, it keeps going. It just keeps going. How deep does it go? How deep is this pit? Oh, and the eerie music makes it so much cooler as well. I was gonna look out for any chest or anything like that. Try to like make sure I clear like, like level by level and not get too ahead of myself before dropping down to the next place. Oh, here we go. And that's exactly why I was quickly just open you. No, that's not the wrong one. This one. There you go. Well, I'm glad whoever was digging out this trench cared about their laundry. They were the cleanest miners going around. They were really, you know, taking care of their appearance, so all like the speckled dust mites would be able to find them. Well, someone woke up, but where are ya? Get down here and I'll kill you for it. Oh. Okay, there's someone still left around here. I think I'm done on this level, though. I've done most of the stuff up here, and I can't hear anything anymore, so I guess I should probably just head down. What's the time? Jesus, it's getting late in the day, too. Oh, okay. 
I'm being very tentative about it. Now I know that there are zombies spawning down. Tough zombie lab? Uh, okay, do I have a round left in my sniper? I really bloody hope I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. When in doubt, call snipers out. Anyone else around? Oh. Okay, you're just like a regular Jeffrey, I think. It's a radio lab technician. Hit you with a couple of stealthy boys. Right up the clacker. There we go. Oh, no. Make the jump, please. There's so much down here. So is this a POI or is this... Because it didn't level the ground at the top. I, I would expect a POI to. It's all... There we go. Thank you. It's all just like regular garbage up there. Regular terrain. It wouldn't, like, wouldn't give away the fact that there's all this stuff down here anyway. So how is this all generated? I don't know. I can hear the gurgle of another zombie somewhere. Grab you. Someone's mad at me. Sounded like they came from this way. I have to, I'm not only all of this. Oh, here we go. I have to find my way out of here at some point as well. I can't just like stay down here forever. So remember I was talking about how I wanted to leave to go to the wastelands at 2 a.m.? Well, now I'm in a divot at, at what, 9 o'clock. A mutated soldier as well. Interesting. We're finding better and better zombies as we go down, which means maybe there's some decent loot for me at the end of this journey. If I can find where the hell it's going to be. This is a... Oh, God! This is a labyrinth of doom. I'm not super excited about what I'm waiting for at the end, but hopefully something good. Who came from this way? I don't think there's any actual... Like, oh! Uh, uh. I don't think there's any actual like, wrong or reasons to that. I think they just kind of spawn anywhere in here and make their way out. No idea how the dick I'm going to find the way back to like the well that I came in on. Oh, it keeps on going. It keeps on going though. How deep does it go? Jeez, oh, I might be down here forever. I can't find any more down in this place. It's all pretty sealed off. I might be at the bottom of the cave. I wish I knew how far down I actually was. That was like a different kind of rock actually. That's why it's a different kind of rock. I am absolutely at the bottom of the cave because I am at bedrock. Okie dokie day then. So I guess this is as far as it goes. I'll keep exploring for what I can to see if I can maybe find... I don't know. Is there like... Well, no, there couldn't be. There wouldn't be like a... um, uh, What should I call it? Uh, like a lab or something down here. Because if there was, the giveaway is that the surface isn't smooth. You can see with like any other POI. You see how it smooths out the ground all around it? That's how you know the kind of like the layout of POI. Like this one, for example. See how it's all smooth around the outside of it, not actually just where the POI is? So the ground where I am isn't smooth, so there shouldn't be anything spawned down here, I don't think. At least I'm, I'm applying logic from, well, lots of hours and seven days to die to this and hoping that it carries over. There is the night time. That's only a mannequin. Let's try and get up and out of here now. That's so cool, though. I didn't know there could be caverns like this. God, I've been itching to play Minecraft for ages and suddenly it scratched that itch just that little bit. This is so cool. Well, I, I'm going to say it's so cool once I find my way out of here. I might have just jumped face first in my own tomb. I can hear lots of footsteps and the occasional beating of things. So I must be getting close to the top. I've just been kind of going up as much as I can. Oh, don't go all the way down again. Oh, don't go all the way down again, Josh, is what I said. Jeez, please don't get yourself killed down here. I'd be pretty upset with you if you did. Just going to get rid of that so I can get up to that one again. Oh, there's my bike even. Okay, I'm kind of in the right area. I just need to get up. That looks like stone. Is this it? Oh, this is my way out. I do have some zombies I need to deal with real quick. I'm now at the bottom of the hole, which doesn't seem like a great idea if I intend on surviving. Oh, boy. All right, well, that works, I suppose. Arlene following the cowboy to her own demise. Well, at least she's dedicated to someone for the first time in her life, so all credit to her. Zombies are falling down. There's still some more at the top. Yeah, I heard ya. I heard ya. This is like the old zombie ragdoll base from a long time ago. They fall far enough, they gotta get goofy legs. Come on, who else is up there? There you go. There you go. If you all wanna make way down here in a nice orderly fashion, I'm more than happy to murder every last one of you. Oh, jeez. Unlucky, buddy. You kinda missed your step there, didn't you? Like, you still got a banana peel. I'll leave once again. I mean, this works. This works fine. As long as they're all clear by the time I get up there, we'll be okay. Alright, I've had just about enough of this, so we're getting up and out, please. Can I... No, can I put you in the right bloody spot, please? It'd be really annoying. You, go away so I can put a block down where I actually need it to be. There we go. All right, we're going up. I'm going up. Whoa, I'm not looking at the zombies that are going to be waiting for me at the top because fuck it. Oh. All right. No, wrong gun. Oh, don't drop loot for me. You know I'm a loot fiend. Come on, don't tempt me like that. For two painkillers, I couldn't not. I knew something was coming. My gut feeling was telling me to pay attention for a change. Oh. 
There we go. Grab you. I hear one more. This is some seriously sketch shit. This is not how I intended on getting out of here today. Go away, please. You go away too. Oh, God, you're still alive. Jeez, they are everywhere today. We're up, we're up, and we're out, and we're good. All right, there are still a couple of Muppets cruising about. Oh, jeez, there's a white and more fat cops. Well, I just kind of want to kill you guys anyway, so I'm going to take the advantage of that. You should be dead now. Just hit you guys like that. I've got plenty of 762 ammo. Not really a massive problem. There we go. There we go. Look how good the M4 is. Jeez, they are everywhere out here, though. They were not fucking about. I found their little, like, secret cave. They were not happy about it. I'm just trying to get home, and they keep sending Muppets after me. Go away, please. Really go away, please. I'm just trying to conserve. I mean, I have plenty of ammo for it. I'm trying to use a baseball bat where I can, because I do oh so... Get away from my bicycle. I do oh so love the baseball bat. All right, I think... I think that's going to just about do it for today. Yeah? All right, let's get out of here. That's so cool, though. I had no idea there could be a caves again. That, like, even back in like Alpha 16 when there were like randomly generated caves. I don't remember it being like that. I remember like the occasional like tunnel kind of thing. Like that used to be how you... Uh oh Sorry. That used to be how you got nitrate way back when. It was a dirt up here as well. You have to go into caves and like mine the stalactites and stalagmites. But I never ever found anything like that. Like a full proper like, I don't know, network. A full like chamber of cave systems. That was sick. I don't know if there's anything more for me down there. I don't know. If I was going to hide a lab somewhere in the world, that would be where I would hide it. And I thought I was going to find something like that when I found the lab zombies. Grab you. What you got? Some other random garbage. That's fine. Let's keep on going home. Let's get out of here. Go back to the lighthouse with a vulture right on my asshole. Oh, man. I'm at the wrong bloody town. Damn it. Here we go. Home sweet home. Pull up back at the front. Oh, get some fishies going. Right. I need to prepare because I need to be leaving in like an hour, don't I? Huh, what an unexpectedly cool day. That was not how I saw this day going at all, but here we are. This is footsteps at the back, but I think it's my, um, I think it's my farm. Take you guys. I need all of you guys to come with me and my normal loadout stuff to go in. So you, 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 you. That one. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I usually have eight. What am I missing? Oh, the car itself. Grab the car itself and also the bicycle. I don't really need the bicycle, I suppose. Now I have the smaller inventory space. I'm less excited to take the bicycle. Hold that sort of long uh, for a long time, so not super necessary, I don't think. Oh, uh, bicycle's in there already. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What am I missing? What am I missing? I. What? You can have that. Got some extra gas. What do I normally carry in there? I've got food. I've got drinks. I, I don't know. That's really confused me. You know what? Doesn't matter. Time is of the essence. So I'm just going to leave that out there. And I'm going to head off in a little bit. I will go see Trady on the way through just to drop off that crap and, you know, leave it out there for him. You can all go into this one. I'll sort that out another time. Okay. So I need to get ready for the morning. I've got a long trip ahead of me. So let's take... I've got food and drink already in the uh, the bike or my transportation, actually. So that's less important. What I do need, though, is to make sure that I have some repair kits. I'll take you. In fact, I might even go and quickly use some of these augers to repair you. It seems like a pretty good idea to me. Make myself some extra repair kits while I'm here as well. What do I need for those again? Repair kit. It was mechanical parts, duct tape, oil, cloth. Okay. Uh, mechanical parts. Mechanical parts. Oil. Which I should have lots of. There we go. Oil, cloth, and duct tape. It was. There we go. I'm going to make like a stack of those. But I'm going to need those to repair my auger and get out there. The last thing I need, once I find uranium, is have a broken ass auger again. That wasn't fun the first time. I doubt it's going to be fun this time. Quickly take all the mods out of the auger as well, just to make doubly sure we don't bin this. You. You. Tier 50. Let's go for a full, almost a full tier 50. Is there, do I have more? I should have more. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we're using all of them then. I thought I was actually going to get more health out of that than I did. That's a little bit upsetting, but we will make do. Taras is doing a good job outside. Keep me nice and safe and secure. You. There we go. Full tier 50. Yep. Not going to do it for me again anyway. All right. I might have just leave you somewhere. Take you back. Okay. Was there anything else I need for tomorrow? I don't actually think so. You can go back into there, please. Modify that. Bang, 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 bang. I should have 
I should make myself a, um, instead of the Iron Breaker, the, like, the Rock Buster. That's what I need, isn't it? That's the only other mod that I need for, like, mining stuff that isn't in my Augur. Rock Buster mod? Wait, is it? I thought it was Bunker Buster, not Rock Buster. Okay, General Schematic, Four Steel, Blue Mechanical Parts, and Springs. Okay, that's doable. I'll make one of those for my adventure, because I'm definitely going to need it. That's going to take a few minutes, so I might just cancel that one. I'll go repair kits, make the last of you. I'll take that. 20, 25 should be enough to get me through. I think I need to make sure I have everything else on me, though, including some gas for the auger. You, no, that's the wrong one. You can go back into this one. Or you go away, please. All like that. Bang, bang, bang. You take those off my hands. Vehicle. Take a full stack of 10,000. Why bloody not? It's not going to hurt having extra gas, is it? In you go. Nice. Okay, so I think that is about ready to go. It's almost three, so I'm going to have to take off for my adventure for uh, basically right now at the start of the next episode. But I have to go to the wastelands, hopefully find some uranium. I might even go exploring a bit down there while I'm down there as well. Like, all I've really done is driven on the main road to find my titanium and plutonium one, which I'm hoping uranium will be there somewhere too. I'm hoping plutonium and uranium are in the same hole because they're both radioactive. I know that makes no sense, but that's the theory I'm working on at the moment. So I have to bang on down there and see what's going on down in the wasteland mines and see what else is happening in the wasteland around some of the other towns I haven't explored yet in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if y'all like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one